Hi, I'm Mark here at Green Bay Botanical Garden. We're just looking at the bees and talking about bee plants here at Green Bay Botanical Garden for National Pollinator Week. Wanted to show you this catmint here actually has a lot of pollinators on it right now, including some honeybees, which we all know are kind of in decline due to whatever possible reasons, but they are here at Green Bay Botanical Garden enjoying the Walker's Low Catmint. A lot of catmint cultivars, so it's really a good plant to incorporate into your garden. Blooms early in the summer now, can be cut back and then will bloom again a really nice flush in the later summer or bloom sporadically throughout the year if you don't cut it back like that. I also wanted to highlight a couple other perennials that are really bee magnets that sometimes people don't think about planting or don't know about. This little sprig is from Lesser Calamint, which is called Calamintha nepeta subspecies nepeta has white flowers in the summer, starts around mid-June, and blooms for a couple months, and it is seriously, bees love this thing, especially bumblebees. The other plant I have a little piece of here is lavender hyssop. It's a little wilted because I just picked it, but has a really nice fragrance. The flowers are actually edible for us humans, and bees, bumblebees especially, again, love this thing. It has a purple flower spike, and it's a native plant to Wisconsin, so that's kind of a cool thing if you have um, a native plant gardener, want to incorporate this native in your ornamental garden. And my last little sprig is wild quinine, Parthenium integrifolium. And this guy has a white flower. I've noticed a lot of different pollinators on this, not only bees, but some really crazy looking giant black fly type bee thing. So pollinators even that are unknown to the human race, just kidding, just to me, love this plant as well. So come out to the botanical garden. We have a lot of perennials. You can learn about different plants that the bees love. And also don't forget about the shrubs. Um, we have Heptacodium, seven sunflower, blooms later in the summer, and bees really love that too. So come out to the garden, see what the bees are on, be involved in Green Bay Botanical Garden, um, learn more about bees at Green Bay Botanical Garden's website to celebrate National Pollinator Week.